Hi guys, welcome. It's Sunday and it's not raining. I thought I'd come out and finish my review of this Black Adder Spade that I won in Hendrix, a uh, thousand subscriber giveaway. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick run through it, some of the details, show you what sort of hole it digs. Uh, I'll be using this on pretty much most of the digs now, so the test will come further on as I go when you watch me, if you watch me. <laughs> so I'll just through, through some of the details and then we'll crack on. Hi guys, well this is it. Mild steel blade, ridged for cutting, awesome. I think it's 522 millimeters long, which is sure very short spade, very, very short spade. But I do like short spades, not good for some. I don't mind them as such. I, I like to carry as less as possible. It weighs 900 grams, which is a bit heavier than the old one, believe it or not. But I think it's got a sharper blade. That blade could come in handy when you're cutting through rocks, stones, pebbles. So on hindsight, I think it's a cracking little spade. And for the money, I think these are about 20 whole English pounds, I think. Um, now, would I spend 20 whole English pounds on a spade like this? Yeah, yeah, I would. It's not bad going really that, to be honest, as long as it lasts. And I think it will, looking at it, it's welded. Nice thick, tubular steel, nice cleanable handle. Yeah, fits in the car perfectly. Fits in the car perfectly. So on hindsight, yeah, I'm very pleased with it. And a great win. I'll just uh, dig a hole, try and do it one-handed, and see what you think. Right, you'll have to excuse me, guys. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so let's dig a hole. Yeah, it slides through all right. I'd expect it to, though, with that blade. And this ground is super soft because We've had such much, just rain constantly for about a week or more. It's been so difficult to get out. This is the first nice day we've had. Yeah, it's not a massive hole, but yeah, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. If you want one of these bad boys, just pop onto Blackadder. I'm not sponsored, you don't have to, please don't think I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting this for free. I did get it for free because I won it, but didn't get it for free, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just take a look if you want one. 20 quid for a spade, ain't so bad. So thanks for looking in and let's crack on with a bit of metal detecting. Hi guys, <clears throat> as you can see, spade's done its job. Now it takes a lovely, nice, neat, neat little hole. Not too much overspill of it. I got a bit of a signal here, it was nothing too much. Just a lead bullet. I think it's a lead bullet, I'm sure I could feel rings on it. I get smashed into something. Just a lead bullet. But yeah. Digs a lovely neat little hole. Like I say, it's not too big. The other one used to like dig a massive hole sometimes. You don't really need a massive hole sometimes. Especially if you look at the size of of that yeah i'm quite pleased with that let's crack it on hi right, guys just finished the dig with it yeah it's been a good little spade <coughs> i wish it got a bit of a bigger sort of head if you know what i mean because it's like a shovel face head it digs a smaller hole but it's not always a bad thing that could be good in summer it's a bit deceptive at the moment because these fields are so soft that a butter knife could dig through so my thoughts on this yeah it's a cracky spade 20 quid yeah not bad for the money not bad for the money if you want a tiny little spade or even just a spade as a backup I'd, I'd, I'd get one i'd get one thanks for looking in i've had a great find down there and you'll see that on the next full video thanks for looking in let's crack on <laughs> 